Hi, I'm Ree from mummyof4.com. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am sharing my latest grocery haul from Iceland for my large family of six. This haul actually includes quite a lot of Halloween goodies and a really, really big don't judge me section. And if you stay tuned to the end of the video, I will be sharing our meal plan for the week. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe, hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. I do lots of hauls as well as chatty vlogs. We've got a whole home renovation series going on at the moment, speed cleans, all that kind of thing. I hope you will enjoy it. Now let's take a look at what I've bought from Iceland. Let's start with fresh, then frozen. We have got two packs of bananas. We go through a lot of fruit in this house. Two packs of pink lady apples. Zara actually ate a whole apple without having it cut up the other day, which was game changing because I could send those into school now because as we know we've talked about this before if you cut up apples there are various ways to stop them going brown but most of them change the taste and the flavor and then the children don't like them so sending a whole apple into school for snack is because the teachers aren't allowed to touch their snack because of covid much easier some sweet easy peeler oranges we've had some really nice oranges lately we haven't had a disappointing orange in a good few weeks which is fantastic because there's nothing worse than a dry flavorless orange and we've got some british strawberries we do go through loads and loads of strawberries whether they're in season or not the children all love them then we've got some carrot battens some of which are to go in my salads which go on the side of our meals and some of which are for dippy dippy as the children say with hummus we have got some baby plum tomatoes for salad as well as spinach and cucumber and almost every meal will have a little bowl of salad on the side now we've got some cooked ham for sandwiches zara eats at home sometimes my uh, husband and my eldest son take food with them as well depending on what they're up to we've got some sliced cheddar i thought i'd picked up two of these because they're on two for three pounds but it only appears to be one i shall have to check if i actually ordered two or if that was just a mistake and then i've got mature cheddar for grating so that's really quick if i'm just doing a super quick sandwich i don't need to faff around because the more mature the cheddar the more crumbly it is and it doesn't kind of cut as nicely but that block is mostly for grating for putting into food I've got grated mozzarella because every time I've tried to grate my own mozzarella it's just been disastrous so that is worth buying grated and I bought two of those for three pounds I've got three trays of chicken breast mini fillets stay tuned to the end for the meal plan I'll let you know what I'm going to do with those I've got some muller corners for my husband and my eldest as well as some milk that is the chilled fresh now let's move on to frozen iceland did have some really fab deals on the frozen they've just brought out this tgi range so i just got the onion rings for now but they have got a lot of really yummy sort of calorific looking but really yummy looking tgi things in their range then we've got some roasting potatoes We've got some Iceland own ones to try to compare with the Aunt Bessie's. We've also got honey roast parsnips, just because when I'm doing a gravy dinner, like sometimes I do them on Sundays, but the other day I did one midweek. It's just so easy just to bang it all in the oven and everyone likes it, easy every time. So no matter what we've got on, just keeps it simple. Got alpha bites because they're nostalgic, aren't they? The children like these. These remind me a little bit of my childhood. I mean, technically we're supposed to teach our children with lowercase letters, but you know, we'll let it slide. Maybe alpha bites should think about bringing out a lowercase range. What do we think of that? I'm sure teachers out there among you would love it. Then we've got mini sausage rolls, but these are Greg's look. So are they especially nicer than normal sausage rolls? Quite often I buy sausage rolls sausage rolls something my children struggle to say quite often i buy sausage rolls uh, in the chilled section so i thought i'd try those they're probably much nicer just from the oven aren't they got a couple of garlic baguettes to go on the side of one of our meals these look so yummy i love prawns and the boys will like prawns but my husband and the girls don't like them so just i don't know what we'll do those on the side of on the side of something i'm reckoning they're going to be nice with some sweet chili dipping sauce i've got a pack of 30 cod fish cakes normally we do go for salmon fish cakes but then that is going to work out a lot cheaper so if my family will eat those it's a winner or maybe just you know they'll do as a backup 
I have bought this, which I think is supposed to be for a party. Obviously we're not having a party because of, you know, COVID, but maybe we could just pull a couple out and use them as like an after dinner treat on the weekends. Or maybe we could have our own little party for Halloween or just, you know, just my family, just my family that live in my house. There's enough of us, let's face it. There are six, that's enough for a party, isn't it? I am actually filming a vlog at the moment where we're doing some Halloween activities and things. That's, I'm filming that over the course of a few days, how we're decorating for Halloween, trying to make it special in spite of COVID. So make sure you subscribe and look out for that. Now this Indian platter, this is also supposed to be for a party, I think, but I thought I'd just pull a couple of these out and put them on the side of when we have a curry night. I thought that's, you know, it's really good value. A hundred pieces that should last us a good few meals. Now these probably belong in Don't Judge Me, but they're frozen, so technically they're over here. I adore macaroons. These are just defrost and eat. I haven't tried these from Iceland before, but I cannot wait. I could probably eat all of those in one setting without sharing, which would be terribly greedy, and I would feel sick afterwards, but it would be so good. Over to dry, we've got some squash. We've got one orange and pineapple and one orange for our squash jug, which we drink from at mealtimes. Just pop that on the table. It's nice and cold and yummy. We've got some beans. Now, a lot of people were saying that they weren't doing these multi-pack beans anymore. Or was that just Tesco because of the packaging issues? Obviously you can still buy them from Iceland. So is it Heinz are gonna phase this out or is it just a Tesco thing? Interested in if anyone knows the answer to that. Got my family's favorite pasta bake sauce this is my go-to quick and easy meal so on an evening where the children have karate and things and it's all a bit of a rush then i do that i have got some stuffing for when we have our gravy dinner sunday dinner whatever you call it sunday dinner if it's on a sunday gravy dinner if it's anything else that's what we call it in our house or chicken dinner let me know what you call it in your house then some cereal we've got cheerios we've got weetabix and crunchy nut we're just going into our backup boxes we always have one to use and then one as a backup to open when the one to use is finished so those are to replace my backup boxes pasta we're running really low on pasta we've gone through so much of it recently and i keep thinking i've got loads of pasta and then i looked at my pasta stores and we were low so i bought three bags but i thought they were like this size bag as it happens it doesn't matter we eat a lot of pasta it's fine but i thought i was buying three of these instead we've got three of these which I suppose is the difficulty with buying online, but I guess as a family of six, I'd rather have it too big than too small. I've got wraps, which we use for lunches. We use these for fajitas and we use these as the bases for our pizzas. And then we've got some 50-50 braces. This time I haven't had braces 50-50 in, well, I can't remember ever having it before actually, um, but it's a good compromise, isn't it? Between the, the white and the wholemeal. And they were on two for a price that I will put on screen, which is why I've got two of them. Household and Halloween now. <laughs> so we've got a Halloween bowl for, I don't know what I'm gonna use this for, and I'm gonna put it away. I'm not gonna leave it in my kitchen all year round. I'm gonna put it away with the Halloween decorations, but I guess I could fill it full of sweets. It's not like we're gonna have trick or treaters this year cause you know, COVID, but we are, as I mentioned, doing a few Halloweeny bits. So I've got some ideas from activities and things. So no doubt that'll come in handy. And then I've got three buckets. Now the children have requested a Halloween hunt, a bit like an Easter egg hunt. So I thought maybe I would hide Halloween treats around the garden and they could do a hunt like they did at Easter. Why not? It's better than, you know, not doing anything at all and just being sad that we can't do anything because of Corona. These are some of the things we will be doing um, in our Halloween thing, but do make sure you are subscribed so you catch that vlog for like our full Halloween-y activities and decor and all sorts. I have got these halloween -y lights. Now these are not the only halloween -y lights that I've got because I have got some others that I bought from elsewhere, but I thought they were quite cute, little ghosts. So we'll open those up in the other vlog for you to see. And then just really boring stuff. Domestos. It doesn't come out pink, but I buy it because it's pink. Because I like pink. I mean, I don't know if it's any better than any other bleach, but I like pink. So that's why I buy that one. And then I've got toothpaste, uh, one for upstairs and one for downstairs, really. Um, so we've got a cool stripe. Um, does that mean it's got blue in it? It does, doesn't it? The problem is when I buy blue toothpaste, it's like I know, I mean, they probably spit it everywhere anyway, but I just notice 
blue stains all over the sink. I, is anyone else constantly having to daily wash toothpaste off their sink because their family is incapable of splitting it down the sink and washing it away themselves? Or is it just me? Over to my don't judge me section, which doesn't look that bad, but then I did have quite a few treat type items over in Frozen, didn't I? We've got a massive thing of crisps. My husband and my eldest are proper crisp heads. They love crisps. So my eldest takes them with him, um, does like snacks in school, and my husband just loves them, just is obsessed. Then we got these, these little treats. I think I must have been hungry when I was shopping or something. I don't, I never normally buy things like this, but I thought we'd give them a go. My husband and eldest really like Turkish Delights. We thought they're like after eights, but Turkish Delight ones. And then Mint Thin, so I don't know what this brand are like. I guess those are like after eights, which I love. I love me a bit of minty chocolate. Also very popular in our house, matchmakers. They will make a very nice after dinner treat one night. I've got Jaffa Cakes for my family. I'm not fussed on them, but the rest of them love them. Now, I've never tried these before, but I'm quite excited to. I think they're very similar looking to something that Boots do uh, in their range of also kind of guilt-free stuff. I think it's like strawberry yunji stuff in the middle. And if it's the same as those, I'm very excited because I love those. So if you've let tried those, report back. Are they great? Now this. As you guys know, I love the fries bars. I really like the strawberry, the raspberry, and the orange, which you cannot get in any of the online supermarkets, which is really annoying. But I wonder what's in this box. Is it just bars or is it, oh, it is. Is it just bars? It's like a, is it like a selection box of bars? So yeah, I think it is. So is that actually, I'm gonna put the price on screen. I don't know if that's good value. I bought it because they looked like online, like they were little chocolates but maybe they're just bars and I've just paid for extra packaging. I don't know, we'll have to have a look. Let's see, what's it say? One peppermint, two Turkish Delight and two chocolate creams. I don't know, we'll put the price on screen and decide if that's good value or if it's more like a Christmas selection boxy type thing. Now, before we head over to see how much we've spent and look at our meal plan, let me know in the comments what's in your don't judge me section this week. The total spend for this shop is on screen now. Now let's take a look at our meal plan for the week. Today, the day I'm filming is Wednesday. So tonight we are having a Nando's fake away. I've got all the Nando's sauces and things and I've got the chicken that I bought today. Now one thing I will notice as I was putting all the groceries away, today is the 14th and all of those three trays of chicken have to be used by the 16th, which isn't great. So even though I had originally planned to do pasta bake tomorrow night, I'm now gonna need to do something chicken based because we need to use the chicken today, tomorrow, and the day after in order to use it up. So not terribly impressed by the dates on that, Never mind. This is why it's kind of important to plan out your meal plan and then as you're putting things away, rejig things according to the dates and what needs to be used first. So tomorrow night we will be doing chicken fajitas just to use up the chicken. I've already got the spices and things. The peppers, I had loads of peppers that were fresh that needed using. So we chopped them all up and chucked them in the freezer. So I've already got the peppers, already got the onions in the fridge. I bought the wraps today. I think I've already got nachos and I got the salsa and the cheese I bought today to great. Then on Friday, we're gonna do our curry night. I have already got the sauces and things, the chicken that we need to use up, already got rice in stock and some chips. We tend to do some chips with the curry as well. And the mango, already got that. But I have bought the lovely Indian selection tray, which is supposed to be for parties, but I'm just gonna pull a few bits of those out and pop those in the oven to go along with our curry night. Saturday, we will do pizza night. And by the way, most of these meals will have a bit of salad on the side. So we'll put salads on the side of the Nando's, the fajitas. I'll have a bit of salad on the side of the curry even at pizza. We will not have salad, however, on the side of Sunday dinner because that would be a bit strange. And then going back round to Monday, we will do pasta bake on Monday, even though I'd originally planned to do that tomorrow night. We'll just swap that around. And then I've actually written pizza night again on Tuesday. That's wrong. That should be fish cakes. That should be fish cakes. Thank you so much for watching. If you've liked this video, please give it a huge thumbs up. Do not forget to subscribe and hit that bell to be notified when I post new videos every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 7 p.m. My latest video is just across here. And another video you may enjoy from my channel is just down here. See you guys soon.